energy made this one. <laughs> Alright, look. When it comes to spice talking, I'm very fluent. Ain't no middle ground for the boys, we're not congruent. Me and you are not the same. There is no confusion. I can put you on the game. She's my favorite student. Uh, you'd have to be pretty skinny to slide under that lake. I'll show you how to get back with no hesitation. Over to me once, and I got my car for an observation. When you say grounded, does that include the pool? When you think about kids sitcoms, the first two companies that come to your mind is Nickelodeon and Disney. I used to watch a fuck ton of Nickelodeon and Disney growing up, and I still to this day try and watch some. But it's not the sitcoms though, I don't watch these sitcoms. And the reason why is because it's not even that they're bad, it's just that I feel as though they just don't hit the same. Now you could probably make an argument and say, oh it's because you're older, you look at it differently. You're probably right about that, but observing the sitcoms now and comparing them to what they were decades ago, they top ass. Okay, but for real though, the show is probably not top ass. Comparing the show to the older shows probably makes it look top ass, but the show itself probably not top ass at all. To the kids, it's probably like the most best show on the planet but i guess comparing it there's no comparison really it's just well they have no hype at least for me i can remember the many times coming home and thinking to myself damn i can't wait to get home to watch some zoe 101 or some victorious or iCarly or whatever the fuck i'll be walking home and then when i do get home go in that living room watch whatever it was a vibe there is no vibe now. The vibe is done. The vibe is over. We're in a new day and age now, but I'm not even going to get into that. I feel like the writers nowadays try hard to make a show original and authentic and eccentric, but I think that they're trying a little too hard. Like just dumb it down a little bit. Like go, you can go crazy, but have a little bit more creativity and stop being in the bubble and trying to compare it to other shows because you need to stand out the most this day and age because all people going to talk about like me is how y'all shows are ass now also for a nickelodeon exclusive i feel as though the show fell off after dan snyder and i know i know that nigga was that nigga was a munch like he was a weirdo he liked the foot fetishes he was weird off scene off set he was he was that type of guy he was that weirdo type of nigga but sometimes you gotta give people credit. Like he was a good ass producer. He made banger ass shows time and time again. He showed himself. I mean, he's still a weird ass nigga, don't get me wrong, but he really was carrying the sitcom era in Nickelodeon. That shit is crazy. No matter how you look at it, he was just that nigga, bro. He was that nigga. Like he might've been a weird ass, stink ass nigga, and I hope that he go to jail, but in terms of production, couldn't get any better. I ain't gonna lie, this is exactly why I've been saying this shit, it don't hit the same. What the fuck is that, bro? Why nigga on the left look like Rain from Mortal Kombat? And why does the lady in the middle like Scarlet from Mortal Kombat? Why is there Mortal Kombat people in Disney, bro? I thought this was a kid's show, man. Girl in the green light, the Green Lantern, bro. Where her ring at, yo? Where her ring at? How'd she get a ring before CP3? Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Here comes the sun. Face ass, nigga. Why do you look like that? In conclusion, all I really gotta say is that the kids' show is not bad. They probably alright. But I just think that they can step up the game and actually make good shows. I mean, what do I know? I mean, I'm not even a fucking kid. Y'all probably looking at me weird like, why is this nigga talking about kid shows? He's a grown ass man. Shut up, shut up. I can talk about whatever I want and I can do. There's nothing you can do about it. So you can just sit there and be mad. I mean, that's about it. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm see y'all later. Um, Make sure you um subscribe and nigga, you even gotta subscribe. How about you like report me and like, you feel me? Just report me and make sure my channel gets deleted. I want that shit deleted by 2024.
I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. I don't want my shit to get reported, bro. But by the end of the year, I want at least 500 million subs, all right? I want 500 million subs and 300 trillion views. And if I don't get that by the end of the year, I'm blowing everything up. Oh! Well, Alexander Bartholi, I don't know if it's true. How about you look at a fucking video about it before you buy this shit? Like, and then, yeah, those are the same niggas who complain, like, oh, the game, oh, the game is ass. Nigga, look at a review. There's so many out there.